Hey guys, what's going on? Tuo Cruz here, checking in in Tokyo, Japan. I'm here this week working the show for BMC Japan. We've got our new show for the 2020 year bikes and we've got a bunch of cool bikes here to show you guys. And I thought I'd give you guys a little tour of what I'm doing for work today. So let's have a look around and see what bikes we got. So let's have a look around. This is a first overview glance of our show. So we've mainly got our BMC bikes over here. This is a show for the new 2020 year model bikes. And we've got a couple cool new items here. This is the new BMC road machine. This is the road machine 013. This is the highest level that we import into Japan. And we got a couple cool marketing banners here as well that we use to put in some of our BMC shops here in Japan. This one's for the road machine. And the cool thing about this bike is it's got the integrated stem, so there's no cables, anything inside. Really nice smooth profile and of course, really cool color and deep dish wheels. This bike's been upgraded this year, so it now has a tire clearance of 33, and you can get by with some 32 cyclocross tires in here, no problem. So the bikes are lined up with the Road Machine series right here. This is the 013, and then we go down to the 022 here. These bikes are pretty similar. The frame is actually exactly the same this year. So even though this is an O2, it has the O1 frame. Main difference being is it has the cables are visible so that you can see the cable goes into the fork here, which is a different fork than the O1 fork, which is just completely cable free. But same frame, overall same bike and still really cool bike. This one's stocked out with Ultegra, the other one with the new wireless force. This is another O2 range. This is the O2-1. This one's got Ultegra Di2. And then this is the lowest range on the Carbon Road Machine series. This is the Road Machine 023. And this comes with Shimano 105. So a simple gray color for this one. We've also got the Aluminum Road Machine range. This is actually a continuation from last year. There's no new changes on this bike. There's actually very few videos on the Road Machine X online, on YouTube especially. I think there's only one video uploaded. So I'm hoping I'm gonna get a chance to test ride one of these guys and make a nice review video for it. I really like this bike. Really good commuter bike and overall kind of do everything kind of bike, gravel bike, road bike. Single up front for this one. The Road Machines all have a double up front. And this is the new bad boy. We've been waiting to get this in stock. This is the new unrestricted Earth. I have a review video, first look video on this when I was in Italy for the BMC Expo and I rode the Earth 01. This is the three, I believe. And this is BMC's new gravel bike, beast of a bike. And we've got this bike on rental from BMC right now as a display bike for our show. We don't have any stock right now, but hopefully we'll be getting some stock in by October or November or so. And this is our banner for the new Earth bike. Let's make our way over to the other side here, the wall here. This is where we've got some of our frame sets and these are some of our continuing frames. So this is, you might recognize these from older years. These are the SLR01 frame sets. So we've still got a couple older rare colors in stock. I really like this green color. And of course you can't go wrong with the classic BMC red frame. So we've still got a couple of these in stock, but not too much remaining. Another cool one we're really excited to get into stock is this gold frame. We don't have any of those yet, but we'll be getting a couple of those in stock pretty soon. Another cool thing that's exciting here is we're gonna be doing mountain bikes again this year. We, our BMC Japan stopped doing mountain bikes a couple years ago, but mountain biking seems to be getting popular in Japan again. We're on the rise, which is really exciting. And we're actually doing only aluminum mountain bikes this year, but hopefully if we can get enough momentum, we'll go and do some carbon mountain bikes as well. So this one is actually an aluminum bike and I really like this orange color. I think we're getting this bike for my wife, for Tung Chan, and really reasonable price point for this one. This one is only, all the prices are gonna be in yen. This is 160,000, so about 1,500 bucks or 1,600 bucks. And this has the new SRAM SX single group set. This is the Team Elite 032, by the way. We've also got the Team Elite 031. Team Elite 03 is all aluminum. This one's got NX and a little bit more. This one's about 2,200 yen. And we've also got a full suspension aluminum bike as well. This is the Speed Fox 032. And this bike's been really popular on our shows, mainly because it's got this really nice glittery polished finish and just really stands out nice affordable aluminum full suspension bike and <laughs> moving on we've also got this beast with this is our first import for the e-bikes we've gotten a lot of interest on the bmc e-bikes they've got some really cool stuff unfortunately japan has some really strict rules strict regulations with importing e-bikes 
and it's really expensive to import them and pass the regulations and tests to get them approved to ride on the road. The good thing about the mountain bikes though is you can bypass that because if you don't ride on the road, you don't have to follow the road rules. So we can actually use this as a demo bike on mountain bike trails. Um, but yeah, unfortunately we haven't been able to ride any of these bikes yet. I've been really, really excited, really wanting to ride some of these bikes, but we had to wait until the show is over because they're all show bikes right now. But after today's show, they turn into demo bikes and I'm really excited to be able to ride some of these bikes and test them out and make some review videos. We've got a couple more bikes over there, so let's go check them out. Moving over to here, we've got our aero bikes. So we've got a couple frame sets here. This is the time machine frame set flat bar setup and we've also got the Time Machine 02 frame set here as well. A couple different color options. We've got an older white frame still in stock as well and the Time Machine road frame set. Oh, we got a, This guy always wants to turn around. It's just hanging up here. There we go. Moving along with our aero bikes. We've got a fully built Time Machine here. This one's got the V cockpit and it's really cool. We've got it opened here so you can see how the brakes are working. Let's do the right side as well. This is the new Time Machine here as well, the Time Machine 02. And the cool thing about these bikes, if you're not familiar with BMC TT bikes, is you can actually put the seat post in either of these positions. If you put it in this position though, you're gonna have to cut it down. So you have to choose which position you wanna use, or you'll have to have uh, two different seat posts. So. This one you can see is being put in the front position and we've got an adapter here so you can have this little case to carry some items. Whereas this one is being put on the back side. So a couple different options there. And this one of course has the more integrated complete aero setup. This is the 01 rim version. There's also a new complete bike disc version available from this year as well. We don't have any in stock yet right now, but that's another exciting bike. This is the 02 so you can see a bit less aerodynamic we've got the brakes out up front here and a normal stem with the wires and everything sitting out here so a more affordable tt bike kind of setup and taking a break from our aero bikes we've actually got our time machine roads over there but we'll go over there in a second over here though we've got our city bikes our commuter bikes these are the bikes that i'm actually really most excited to test out because if you're a fan of this channel you know that i do a lot of bike commuting videos and i've been really wanting to test out BMC's commuter bikes onto the road. So we've got the Alpen Challenge 02 and Alpen Challenge 01. I made a whole video announcing their full lineup in the range, but we're actually just doing these two models in Japan, the top of the line for the 02 and the top of the line for the 01. So again, I made a whole video talking about the Alpen Challenge 02 and 01. So if you're interested more in that bike, you can go check it out. These ones both though have a Carbon's Gate belt drive and I've never ridden a bike on the Carbon belt drive before. so. Very excited to test these guys out once we get back to Nagoya from the show and I can take these bikes out for a demo ride. Moving our way over here, we've got our SLR ALR series. So starting over here, we've got our new ALR. This is BMC's aluminum road bike. So this year it's gone to a red color. Last year it was white. So I really like this change. In my opinion, the red bike stands out a lot more. And actually the letters are not white, but a more brushed kind of silver. So that's pretty cool, unique. And it's the same up in the front as well. So this bike is decked out with a 105 group set, but slightly different crank setup in the front. Everything else is standard 105. This bike also has the D seat posts, same technology as the carbon SLR bikes. And this is the ALR disc. We don't have the new color in stock yet, so we're displaying the old black one, but we're getting the new one, which is a sort of dark blue with red letters. And same components, 105 group set, but with disc and slightly different wheels. This is another really exciting development here. This is the high-spec aluminum complete bike ALR. This is the new ALR01. This is uh, last year's ALR01 disc, and this is this year's ALR01 disc. So they've added a new range for the ALR01 disc. And this one is actually with a wireless force group set and brushed aluminum with black letters, beautiful bike. And actually the hubs on this bike are also silver as well. I might actually make a full dedicated review for this bike. So if you're interested, you wanna see a full review for this bike, let me know. I'll be glad to make a video for it. But we've got a lot of bikes to show today, so we've gotta hurry up and get everything in. This is the new SLR 02 and the SLRs this year actually have a slightly new paint job. So in the past, there was a full sort of solid color in the bottom, but now you can see there's a line here and a line here. So we've sort of got three different grades. We've got the light gray, the dark gray, and then the top 
which has a different uh, sort of diamond pattern. Unfortunately, it's not looking too great on the camera, but looks a lot better on person if you can see this diamond pattern here. Very cool. So from the side, the, the colors of this bike don't really stand out too much, but if you look at it from a different angle, from like above, like here, it definitely looks a lot better in my opinion. So you can't always judge a bike by its side picture. These are the rim SLR 02s, by the way. And that was with the, this one's with 105. This one's our Altegra build, so the next level up, the SLR 022. This is the Carmine Red version, and this has the black diamonds on top, so. And I'm really liking this new pattern that they have here. It really stands out. Moving along, we're going on to our SLR 02 disc version. So this is the SLR 02 disc four. This is the 105 version, so the cheapest disc carbon bike that we've got from the SLR range. And you can see it's got the same sort of three color pattern. So the red over here, the light gray, and then going on to the black diamonds on top. Going up to the next range, we've got our Altegra range, and this one's got a darker gray with a sort of aqua blue up on the top. And then our top of the range for the SLR 02 range this year has the same sort of dark gray pattern with the bright orange on top. And this bike is actually different this year in that it is using the SLR 01 technology. It's got the ICS integrated stem here. Um, it still has the SLR 02 fork up here, so we still got the brake cables that are standing out, but this of course being a wireless group set, we don't have any cables for the shifters. So a bit more sleek than the standard SLR02s, which have a bit more cables and a bit more going on. And you've also got the aero stem mixed in as well. Of course, with the new SRAM Force 12 speed group set, which is actually being included on a lot of the bikes that we're importing in Japan this year. This next bike is our highest level SLR01 that we're importing into Japan. This is the SLR01 Disc 3. So 910,000 yen, about nine grand, one of our more pricey bikes, but super sleek. This is the 01 range, so we've got our complete aero profile here, no cables, and classic white, black, and red BMC colors here. This one's also spec'd out with the new electronic SRAM Force group set, 12 speed. And for our last two bikes here that we've got at our show, we've got the Time Machine Road Series. This is one of our more popular bikes. We've got a lot of interest at these, especially at our shows. And this is a more affordable option this year. This is the red color, which in my opinion, of course, is always the best color. Red bikes are fast bikes, of course. This is the Time Machine Road 014, so 880,000 yen, a bit cheaper than the SLR01 we just looked at. And this one comes with Altegra DI2, electronic group set, deep dish carbon wheels, and of course the full integrated aero design. It actually comes with these two bottles. We can see they're still wrapped in their plastic. That's how they come originally. And there's also a red color version of the Time Machine Road this last year, but this year it's gone to a more affordable build. And this other color here is actually really exciting. We've got a lot of interest in this as well. This is a more polished silver kind of design. And with this color, I think the sort of curves are just accented a lot more and just really stunning kind of design here. You can see on the bottom down here, we've got the more subtle BMC decals. Some of the bikes, the SLRs, of course, have the big BMC letters on the down tube, and some of the other designs are a bit less branded, kind of like this one. This one also has the new electronic SRAM Force group set, so a lot of our high-end bikes are using the new SRAM group set this year. And yeah, that's really good news for me because I'm a big SRAM user. I've been using SRAM most of my life and I've had a lot of difficulty finding SRAM parts for my bikes uh, here in Japan because it's Shimano country. So always happy to see more SRAM bikes out there. All right, guys, that's the end of the BMC part of this tour. We've actually got a couple other brands, a couple other companies that we're partnering with and they're displaying some of their products here as well. So if you're interested and wanna see some of the other things that we have going on at our show, you can continue watching the rest of the video. But before you do that, let me know which of the new BMC bikes, the new 2020 bikes, do you like the best and why? Write down your answer down below in the comments and we're gonna continue on with the rest of the tour. So this table area is actually where all the new dealers come to sign and register for their new contracts. We're actually not very busy right now because this is right before the show is starting. So that's why it's empty. There's actually a lot more people here. This is our second day of the show. We had, I think over 160 different shops representatives come yesterday. So lots of people. And this is day two. We're about to get ready to start. So starting over here, we've got a couple of our other brands. This is Lizard Skins. They've got some saddlebags here and some new bar tape. They're changing their bar tape package this year, so you might not have seen this design yet. This is brand new, just announced at Eurobike, which I went to uh, last week. And we got a demo here. So if you're a Lizard Skin user, you'll be seeing this new package pretty soon. 
We've got a couple of their gloves here and other protection items as well. And some shoe covers. I'll be needing those very soon. Another one of our popular brands here is Effetto Mariposa. And they do a lot of stuff with tubeless stuff. And I think these are really cool as well. You can put these inside your tires, kind of like this. We've got a demo here. And this reduces the chance of getting like pinch flats and stuff like that. So lots of different items from them. We're also just starting to import a new shoe company. So this is FLR Shoes. And we're gonna be working with them moving forward. We've got a couple of different new shoes. We just got these in, so I'm not too familiar with all of these yet, but I think I'll be getting some demo shoes myself as well. So really excited to test these out. And especially this guy, I think I'm gonna be making a review for this guy once we get into the winter months and I'll be using this as my winter commuter shoe. So this is the Defender winter shoe. We'll be making a video about that once it gets a bit colder here. So pretty excited for that. Some other items here. We've got our Fidlock bottles. So these are pretty nifty because they sort of twist off and then there's a magnet adapter. So it pops back on. These are really good for like small frame bikes or just if you're riding on rough terrain and you don't want your bottle to fall off. So really nifty. We also do some Herzl gloves. A couple different options here. And another popular item we do is absolute black chain rings. So we've got a bunch of different varieties of these and the different colors down here as well. These are the oval chain rings. Over here, we've got our FSA vision corner. So a couple different high-end carbon handlebar setups here and some different wheels, tri-spoke wheels, just different accessories. And of course, the, the variety of parts that we have for FSA is just way too much that we can bring here. We've also got a demo here for the new K-Force Wii group set. So you can pedal this and practice with the and test the shifters over here. We've got two here. One is for the disc brake version and one is for the rim brake version. We've also got a fully built demo bike for the K-Force Wii here as well. And this is decked out with some of our other FSA parts here, like the handlebars and so on. Also the brakes. So yeah, that's our FSA demo bike. Over here, we've got some bikes from Strida. And I know I've gotten a lot of comments on this channel, people asking me to review some folding bikes. And so I'm hoping I get a chance to demo some of these out one day. We've got a couple of their different folding models here. And I'm not too familiar with these bikes yet, but we can see we've got some of the folded down versions here. And this one's really interesting, you can, the way it folds up to here. So if anyone on the channel has ridden some Strida bikes before, let me know what you think. If there's a certain model that you think I should review, let me know and I'll try and get a demo bike to test out. Uh, this one's got the more sort of mountain bike kind of tires and white camo, pretty cool. And this is another brand that we're gonna be starting to distribute this year, Martin. So they do some sports nutrition stuff and really well-developed sports formula. So you can see they've sponsored some major athletes, some major marathon events. And we've got a couple different sizes and gels that we can get, drink mixes. All right, and the last brand to show you guys today is DeMarkey. So we've got the CHI, a normal American would probably pronounce this DeMarchi or something. So it's actually a key sound, DeMarkey. And that's a cool thing about Japanese is in the Japanese language, the pronunciation is very similar to Italian. So they do pretty well with their pronunciation for more European brands, French brands, or Italian brands and so on. So really high end clothing company here. We've got a couple of their demo products, some bib shorts, and also some jerseys over here. We've got one of their demo jerseys on display and a couple more folded out here. So some nice retro style designs here and some really fancy shoes. Some more options for the retro designs. All right, guys, that's the end of the tour for today. We're about to get started with the show, so I've actually got to get back to work. But anyway, what did you guys find interesting in this video? Let me know down below in the comments, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos about cycling and cycling culture here in Japan. And we'll see you next time here on Tubal Cruise.